Previously on Sleeping Dogs. Howdy. What? My shit's not good enough for you? Why? Don't pass a mess, yeah? Fucking hell! Don't do it, man! Don't do it! Go on, let's shit. go! Oh, shit! Man, way fucking Shen in the flesh. Jack, so look, if you and uh, Winston ever need help with any of that shit you got going on with him, of course, man. Look me up when you get out. It seems that the evidence against you has failed to appear. How do you explain that? You must be a very dangerous man, Wei Shen. That is exactly what we want people to think. I'm in. Good work. Use him to get close to Winston Chu. Do whatever it takes. Our intel suggests that Winston is looking for muscle. You need to find a way to make him trust you. Oh, where the fuck do you think you're going? Relax, man. This is Wei. Wei Shen. I told you about him, remember? Fuck. We can't keep track of your bullshit friends, Jackie. You should have seen it, Winston. Wei just beat up like 10 of Dog Eyes guys in the market by himself. Winston, my old friend. So good to see you. What do you want, Dog Eyes? Oh. Jackie, you do go to the night market. You make sure people understand that I'm in control, not dog eyes. Got it? Got it, boss. Moment I. And you fuck up anybody who tries to get in your way. I want to send a fucking message. This is Wei Shen. He's been a cop all his life, but no one told him that it would be more than he bargained for. Welcome to Hong Kong. Welcome to Sleeping Dog. Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. <laughs> no problem at all, Mrs. Chu. Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. You know, my life, it, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with, too, Wei. Eh? It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then where will you be? <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Wei. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. But, you know, her bark is worse than her bite. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! That's worse than her bark for sure. No, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. And my mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too. And that drove her crazy. Bad enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but... But a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That, too? 
to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower. And now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> A black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh well, Wei, come on. We can go now. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? <sighs> yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give... Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in Old Prosperity, she... She started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up. Change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. I'm sorry, Wei. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. Uh, it's okay, baby. You know, it's good to remember where you came from and where you're going. Hey! Isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on! What are you doing? Yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Here, here, take the wheel. Careful, don't hurt my cake. Don't worry. Get that van. Go, go. I'll follow you. Relax, I just want the cake. What? This is my cake! Mine! Look, I don't know what Dog Eyes is paying you, but it's not worth it for a wedding cake. I don't know no Dog Eyes! This is for my wedding! My wedding is going to be perfect, you hear? Perfect! You want this cake, you're going to have to pry from my dead fingers, you hear? Somebody help! All done. Thank you, Wei. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh-oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that orchid. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no. Not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Wei. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... Rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man needs brothers, uncles, and sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh, it's very important. You know, I could probably set you up if you want. <laughs> You're a good-looking man. <laughs> Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. Yeah, I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well... Let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls.
What are you doing here? <clears throat> when it when energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. I, I am here and not here. I um, love flowers. Ah, brother. So true, so true. Don't belong here. Ah, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true. I say no. Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Uh, Winston is not gonna like this. Wait, what are you doing? Way. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And if you're gonna be my sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. Now, sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect, it never is. But you have a good heart. Peggy, I. Nope. I know. Women's intuition. It's the same with Winston. He talks tough, but underneath, he's a very caring man. That's why I love him. Thanks. That's the secret. You do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. Then you'll always be happy. Thanks for being so helpful, Wei. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you. I found one of your statues. Tiger. Ah, oh, the tiger. Ever think about going back to the States, I mean? It didn't work the first time. Why would it again? And the past goes with you wherever you go. So you will confront the past rather than run from it. Damn straight. I wonder, is the past something we can defeat? Or is it something we simply come to terms with? Hey man, I'm stuck in traffic. I'll get there as soon as possible. Don't worry, there's still time. Don't start without me. You look like you could use a pork bun. Ah, Wei. Look at Lo Yao. I'm so happy you can make it. Congratulations. Peggy, you look stunning. <laughs> Thanks, Wei. <laughs> you both must be very happy. Yes. The best day of your life, so they say. You know what? They're right. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Oh, Uncle Paul, welcome, my guest of honor. I'm happy to be here. It's nice to see someone who wants to be a good family man. Not enough of that nowadays. Hi. You look absolutely lovely, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Almost as lovely as your mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, and Mrs. Chu, 
I expect the food to be... Wait, wait. Fantastic. I got a case of the chairman's favorite wine in my car. I forgot to bring it in. Do you mind grabbing in and making sure they know it's for him? I'm gonna make sure he gets inside, okay? Yeah, sure thing, Winston. You gotta enjoy your day, okay? Where are you parked? Ah, right through there. I'm going, I'm going. Just bring it into the kitchen.
Uncle Poe! Are you okay? Can you walk? What's going on? What happened to Winston? Okay, come on. We gotta get you out of here. Uncle Paul, you're hurt. It's nothing but a little scratch. You look sort of... We gotta get you to a hospital. happens to him. I'm holding Hello, you personally please? responsible. Oh, thank God. I'll be clear. Okay, okay. Where have you been? Stuck in traffic. It's Hong Kong. Fuck, Raymond. You think showing up for these things is easy for me? I know you've been through a lot, boy. More than we have any right to ask. Now the wedding. It was a massacre, Raymond. A massacre. Winston was a red pole, sure, but his wife, a fucking gunned down his wife on her wedding day. We knew you would become personally attached, Wayne. It's inevitable in an operation like this. And seeing something like that would be hard. Hard for anyone. It's war now. No, it's not. You're a cop, all right? Your job is to enforce the law. You can't remember that? I'll pull you out right now. Pull me out? Your job was to get close to Winston. Now, that's not much of a strategy anymore. Get close to him? Open your eyes, Raymond. I am Winston now. With him gone, I'll be taking his place. You want the chairman? I report to him now. You want the Red Pulse? I'm one of them. That's what worries me, Wei. You're one of them. You want to give up the best undercover HKPD has ever had? Your best shot taking down the sun on Yi? Exactly. We done? Yeah, we're done. Anything happens to me, you look after my people, okay? Get Peggy out of here. Winston! She doesn't. Does she <laughs> On the next episode. Shut the about fuck up, man. Jackie! You gotta think! You gotta think! Nicole, 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 Shut up! Both of you! Winston's gone! Right now, we gotta stick together. We just can't let the 18K get away with this! What makes you so sure it was 18K? We all saw them! They were definitely 18K! Look, we've had a few skirmishes with them lately. Nothing major. 
It doesn't make sense that they would do something this big. Oh, so, so, so who do you think it was? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. <clears throat> and who the fuck are you? He has decided that for the time being, you may continue your operations in this area. But the percentage previously paid to Winston will now go to Mr. Lee. You tell Mr. Lee that his people stay the fuck out of our territory, and in return, we'll let him live. I don't think you'll find that offer to his liking. I think you'll find that I don't give a fuck. You see our guest out, make sure he doesn't get lost. You'll regret this. I promise you.